Bonandi. My name is Sanelisi Wenerato Ndlovu and welcome to Know Our Neighbors Through Cuisine. Today we are taking it home to South Africa as you can see. My next guest is a very like good friend of mine. She's a fellow friend of mine. Her name is Unomvula Aba. Please help me welcome Unomvula Aba. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, we, we are so excited to go together. So mm -hmm. we're going to be making um, a matombolo, mm -hmm. patata, shatini, no, shakalaka. shakalaka. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Spinach and we have a matumbe. Yeah. We thought yeah. about, we thought about, ama any chicken feet. We thought about, yeah, ama green <sighs> no one was gonna eat a mangrina, but it's not a mangrina, so it's a mangrina, so okay. But, you know, it's on it's our spirits, it's on our spirits. But yeah, that's our menu, and so then I thought about um pupula, but we couldn't find um pupula, and also, it was bossy. But listen, we're gonna make ulekon, we call it like ulekon, it's like lemon, lemon juicy with the sugar, like kind of like lemonade, but so we're gonna see y'all on the other side. So for Ama Dombolo dumplings, we need a flour, we need salt, which is usawoti. We need a yeasty and we need some sugar. And we're gonna mix all of these ingredients into a bowl. We are gonna cover it with a cloth like this. Make sure that your oven is not on, okay? The oven has to be off. So we are just going to pop it in here for like 20 minutes in an off oven. And so the, um, the dough can rise. By the way, the beef for, for yeah. the dumplings. So, and then when the onions start browning, we're gonna add the spices because we want. We're boiling our sides on the side. <laughs> <laughs> we have a matumbe, also known as like near root potato and whatnot. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna boil it until it goes soft. When when a, when a knife or fork. Can pierce through it. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you're on the right track. So wait, who taught you how to cook? Me? Honestly, for the most part, myself, because my mom was never one to ask for help. Really? So sometimes I'd see like some of the things she did, and I was like, oh okay. Mm -hmm. But then for the most part, was trial and error. You? Um, my grand and my mom. So they taught me how to cook. And, but sometimes, most of the time, they'll be like, they take out like who that, that the food that you need to cook, mm -hmm. and you kind of have to figure it out yourself. <laughs> like, hey, I'm just Yo, gonna go. You had to That's figure right. it out yourself, and it's like, sometimes they'll be like, oh no, just go in the fridge. And I'm like, but I don't know what to cook. What are you gonna do? Okay. And here. that's how you become creative. Just some curry powder. Oh, we have garlic powder, argano leaves. Crushed peppers and no is just gonna be mixing as I put. Ooh, Ooh yes. The whole <laughs> no. <laughs> well, <laughs> we love it. I love it spicy, so okay. I'm gonna add our beef now. Woo! And then just like separate it in the pot. And what you want is you want to like. Get some browning on the meat first. Yeah. And then once you have the browning on the beef and it's showing some good color. So right now it's not to like cook it totally, but just for it to get some good color. And then we're gonna add a Maggi cube and like a spoon of yeah. tomato paste. There you go. Just two dollops of tomato, tomato paste. paste. Look at that, it's and it's not even done yet. And so the other thing is we're gonna add some water, and then we're gonna close this and, this and let it cook. Mm -hmm. Did like the water scare you? But this is where we're gonna put the dumplings. I really, really love dumplings, like especially the small ones. So you can make dumplings to be either big or small, and these are just the small ones that are like. 
for serving just like a smaller group of people um, unlike the the one th there's there's you can make another dumpling that is bigger than this but that would you would use like a big traditional Zulu pot to make those okay so we are going to be making chicken which is a huge crowd pleaser when I make it so what I'm gonna do so I've washed the chicken some of the skin is off because you know people's preferences and while we there look I am wearing my badatas uh, wow. with socks though because I'm, I'm always cold inside the house <laughs> so I'm just like look look Yo, you know you are Zulu if you get excited about meat. 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 Chakalaka. Peppers. We have yellow, orange, red, and green peppers. Beans. Grated carrots. Onions. Spicy peppers. Yo. So we're going to start off with adding our onions, the peppers, and black pepper. Some garlic, Italian seasoning, salt, a little bit of cumin, and of course we cannot forget curry powder. And honestly a lot of these things just depend on the taste that you're looking for, whether you want it to be spicy or not. It's all up to you. And then we're going to leave this for a moment. Let the flavors sit in. Let the onions and peppers sweat a bit. And then we're going to get a really nice color and caramelization on it. And then going to come back. Going to add in the carrots. As you see here, going to add in the carrots. Leave them for about two minutes so they can soften up a little. And then after that, I'm going to add the baked beans. I'm spicy. So... We are going to make it spicy. So now we're going to make spinach, cream spinach with mushrooms. And so we're going to add some oil, our onions, right, the powder in there. And just let it brown a little bit. So we have all our ingredients, we have some mushrooms, we're not going to put them now, but we're going to put also like the peppers, we have green, orange, yellow, and red, and we have some spinach, cut up spinach, as you can see, I usually use like yellow cheese and white cheese and mix it together, Use heavy cream or milk, and then now we can add peppers first so this, this is when I'll add like my salt I will add my pepper some oregano right and then see I'll add just a little bit of more oil in there and then I'm just going to let it brown a little bit making um, the cabbage very simple easy old traditional way not a lot of stuff so I'm gonna start with a hot skillet I'm gonna add in a little bit of oil and then I'm gonna put some onions cracked black pepper add some salt Italian seasoning some garlic and a little bit of cumin right and so we're just gonna let that cook and brown every weekend during the week with my gamma weekends one of us or like other friends are cooking we that oh that would be like amazing food okay so now we're gonna prepare it's like a south african lemonade we're gonna need lemonade or like le coli we call it like le coli we used to make this at home my grandmother used to make it for us and we need some sugar the water is already like cold which is good so we're just going to add this and we are going to mix it we're gonna add some sugar let's taste it mm. okay 
Okay, I'm gonna need more sugar. <laughs> you don't want it to make it too sweet. You still want to taste the lemon, right? Yeah. And it's cold too. Woo! Yes! Dumpling. Ooh, shine. Look at that. Bona. Give it to you. 